NAFTA renegotiation talks are put on hold. The manufacturer of Ford sedans now has an expiration date. And Mexican convenience stores OXO and online retail giant Amazon plan an alliance. Hi, and welcome to today's edition of Mexico News Network's Breaking News Business. I'm your host, Joseph Garza. Let's get on down to the information. Despite the advances we saw recently regarding the renegotiation of the North American Free Trade Agreement, a conclusion will not be reached in the coming days due to the fact that the ministers will not meet again until after the trip of a U.S. trade delegation to China. Mexican Economy Secretary Ildefonso Guajardo said that the three ministers representing the NAFTA agreement will meet on May 7th, once Lighthizer returns from China, to which the Canadian Foreign Minister, Christia Freeland, added that there will be no agreement before the next ministerial meeting. This means that the NAFTA talks will not be completed before May 1st, a date officials had set as the objective given the trip to China and the expiration of a temporary exemption for Canada and Mexico on the tariffs on metals imposed by the United States. The U.S. authorities had excluded both countries from the levies on imports of steel and aluminum that caused such a stir in the international market based on the successful completion of an agreement on NAFTA. Both Guajardo and Freeland played down the risk of being affected by metal tariffs, but did not clarify what guarantees the Trump administration gave them. Mexico, for its part, hinted that it could take retaliatory measures. Ambassador Lighthizer knows very clearly our position and how we have to react if some measure is imposed against Mexico, Guajardo told reporters Friday in Washington. Beyond the short-term obstacles that the trip to China and metal tariffs represent, the time is running out to reach a principal agreement on NAFTA. Moving on, Ford took to the headlines last week when it announced that it will stop producing half of its sedan lineup in the next few years but did not announce when it would. We now know that the manufacturer of Focus, Taurus, and Fiesta will not go beyond the first half of 2019. The first to fall will be the Focus, which will end production next month. Ford is currently building this car at his factory in Wayne, Michigan. The company's Chicago assembly plant will stop manufacturing the Taurus in March 2019. The Fiesta will retire in May of next year, which means it will last much longer than Ford announced last year. That leaves us with the Fusion. An automotive news reporter noted that Fusion will remain for at least a couple of years. It has been in the market since the 2013 model, so it is not yet at the end of its life cycle. Finally, the journalist added in a tweet that Ford will begin importing Focus Active from China in mid-2019. Its place in the schedule apparently confirms that it will arrive as a 2020 model. These measures are part of a strategy that will fix or eliminate unprofitable global operations. Joe Henricks, head of global operations at Ford, said other vehicles will replace these cars in the factories of Mexico and Chicago, where they are now being built. Ford's global markets chief, Jim Farley, said the company is exploring new vehicles that give people the space and versatility of a utility vehicle, but without a penalty of fuel savings. We will have a very diverse passenger car business, said Farley. It's just not traditional silhouette sedans that tend to become commodities. Ford said it will double its cost reduction target for 2022 from the plan it submitted six months ago and now expects to reach a global profit margin of 8% by 2020, two years ahead of schedule. In other headlines, the OXO stores belonging to Fomento Economico Mexicano, FEMSA, are about to become a strong ally of the online shopping giant Amazon. In Mexico, both companies have just started a pilot project to use the thousands of convenience stores in the Mexican Republic as retail delivery points for the U.S. company. FEMSA owns almost 17,000 OXO stores, most of them in Mexico, which are a common sight in both big cities and small towns where people can buy products, perform banking transactions, or pay for services such as electricity, telephone, and cable, among many others. According to the newspaper El Financiero, the companies have already started a pilot test and they expect to introduce a broader plan this year, but the details are not yet defined. However, the main idea is that with this partnership, Amazon can not only simplify its delivery process, 
but reduce waiting time for customers. Since postal service in the country has a history of irregularities in their express deliveries. It should be noted that in 2017, FEMSA started its program OxoPay to reach customers who do not have access to traditional banking options, while Amazon launched its website in Mexico in 2015 and began offering its Prime membership last year. The company has a hybrid payment system for Mexico where customers can deposit money into an account that they can then use for online purchases. And finally, let's turn to the markets. The Mexican peso decreased 0.0898 or 0.48% to 18.7169 from 18.8165 to 18 in the previous trading session. IPC Mexico decreased 92 points or 0.19% to 48,206 from 48,298 in the previous trading session. This was all for today. Thank you again for staying with us. I'm Joseph Garza. Remember to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. And log on to MexicoNewsNetwork.com for more information on Mexico and the world. Until next time.